What's up guys, Code103 here, and I am here with another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to um, change the settings so your vehicles in a non-emergency slots can have ELS on and sirens on, pretty much. So, let's get started. Uh, first thing you need is an ELS or non-ELS vehicle. It doesn't matter which one it is. So in this case, I downloaded CJ24 uh, LCPD pack. So I I'm going to be using the charger for this one. Just click download and you download it. Next, you extract the files, which I already have them right here. Then you go to Open 4 or to Spark, Spark 4. And a quick uh, note, if you do, if you do, if you're doing this, um, please keep in mind that the vehicle that you'll be using will it will work to use the license tires will work but you won't be able to pull over any vehicles i've tried it it has not worked for me i followed probably a good minute i was following a vehicle and trying to pull them over and nothing happened i was on duty i forced duty and nothing happened so just a quick note i mean everything else you can use it but Pull, pull, pulling over a vehicle won't work. So, oh, my bad. All right, so right here, uh, pick any vehicle you want to replace. In this case, we'll go for the, let's go for the Dukes. Uh, we're just testing it out. You don't have to do the Dukes. You can do any other vehicle as long as it's not in an emergency slot. So let's go for the Dukes. So what you want to do is come here to your files, to your vehicle files, and rename this to to uh, Dukes or whatever vehicle you're going to be using. So there you go, Dukes. Now we're going to drag and drop. And now I go back to the Dukes vehicle. It's the Dodge Charger. All right, let's continue. Now you can close that out. Now we need to change the vehicle IDE file so for that we gotta go to our GTA 4 directory so Windows 8 I'll go here to computer uh, local disk program files times 86 uh, depending what you have it's Steam or Rockstar games I have Steam so Steam Steam apps common Grand Theft Auto 4 GTA 4 now right here we're gonna go to common data I'm going to scroll down to vehicles ID I'm going to open that open that with your notepad now we're going to scroll down we're going to look for police or police 2 so here it is police police 2 and what you want to copy is everything starting from car from car all the way to the end so it can be either one police or police 2 but do not copy the first two words of police. You don't need those. You just need where it says car. So just highlight all of it. A straight line. Make sure you get all of it. Okay, double checking. All right. Now we're going to hit Control C for copy. Now we're going to look for our Dukes. And here's Dukes right here. Uh, look for whatever vehicle you had replaced it with so if it was a Comet or a Burrito a Banshee whatnot just look for that name and do the same thing I'm doing so we're gonna highlight again cars and then all the way down and we're gonna hit backspace now we're gonna hit control V to paste alright and there you go that should be it there all right, now we're going to hit File and Save. Now we're going to exit out. Now we're not done yet. We got one more step. Now we got to go to our ELS. This requires ELS 7. Now we're going to go to ELS.ini. And we're going to go scroll down. And at the bottom where it says P Stockade, we're going to press Enter twice. And now we're going to type in bracket space dukes space bracket and I think those are brackets I'm not sure 
Um, now we're going to type in status space equals space on. And then file space equals space default config or whatever other file you're using for your ELS settings. So, okay. So now we will go to file and go to save. So there you go. That's all you need to do. So now when you go in game, uh, you open up your trainer and you go to whatever vehicle it was, a Vigero, a, for me, for a Dukes, um, you go to it and your ELS will work for it. So, and like I said, the vehicle, you will not be able to pull over vehicles. You can do everything else but pull over vehicles. Uh, test it out yourself. And if you can't pull over a vehicle with the with the vehicle you just are using right now, let me know and tell me what you did to fix it. Because I can't do it. So, um, yeah, guys. Hope this helps. And leave a like if you think it did help for you. And, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.